I'm going to show you another nice feature of GNU Plot. Uh, we can write little scripts which uh, GNU, GNU Plot can execute. So here's an example where again we're plotting output 1 but this time instead of uh, the output appearing on the screen it's being saved to a file called plot1.png. So to run that we just simply say GNU Plot Plot1 and then we can display uh, that PNG file to see the graph. Now this is a graph of a straight line. Uh, it looks like a straight line. So let's try and work out what the what the formula for that straight line is. Well naught goes through naught so it's it's going to be of the form y equals some constant times x. So what's the constant going to be? Well when x is a hundred um, we get 20 million. So what's 20 million divided by 100 roughly? So let's let's uh, work out what 20 million divided by 100 is. Well we should know that it's um, 200,000. So it's roughly uh, um, 200, y is 200,000 times x. So what we can do is we can we can actually plot um, 200,000 x on the times x on the same graph as as our uh, as the other thing. So now if we run GNU plot again we display we see we've got two graphs here. We've got the graph corresponding to the output of the of the program and we've also got this line here which is y equals two hundred thousand x. As you can see this is a bit more than that. So let's try two hundred and fifty thousand instead. So again um Let's run GNU plot and again look at the display. Ah, that looks better. It's almost dead right now, perhaps. So now uh, it, we want a little bit more, don't we, to make these lines coincide completely. So, so let's say 260,000 X. So now let's try that again. So we um, run GNU plot and we display. And that looks pretty good. They're on top of each other. So the what we've shown is that the formula for the um, number of iterations uh, to the actual uh, time it takes is uh, is 260,000 times the number of iterations measured in nanoseconds.